Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to use Kokoro, a powerful text to speech AI model directly in Google Colab. No local installation needed, just follow along in your browser. So, what you need is basically just a Google account and you can just head over to collab.research.google.com. Don't worry, I will leave a link in the description. And basically, you need to run this once and uh, when you run it for the first time it will connect to uh, a cloud computer and then it will be installing all the uh, dependencies and uh, it will be cloning the git repository and all so basically all you need is your browser and uh, working internet connection to connect to the google collab and uh, create a text to speech uh, audio from your uh, text inputs so once you run this uh, the kokoro model is installed and uh, most of its weights are also installed now let's just click on uh, here so it is this once you go to this link you will see this collab uh, file and you can just run these two blocks and then you can select a voice like uh, which which voice you need like there there are uh, several options available here and uh, you can just try everything and uh, find which is whichever is suitable to your taste so don't worry that uh, generation time is basically two to three seconds only for a single line of uh, uh, input so it's not going to take too much of your time so other than other than these two blocks it takes 31 seconds uh, this one took just two seconds but uh, when you run for this uh, run this for the first time you will see uh, some 20 30 seconds to run this build model line and yeah i have selected uh, voice number six zero one two three four five and six so basically i selected this voice bf isabella b means it is british english uh, a is for uh, american english and uh, this f denotes it is a female voice and m denotes male voice currently you can just uh, come down here and uh, here is here is the actual prompt or uh, actual text that you will need to input so i just uh, entered what is the answer to everything so let me change it and uh, the name of my channel is make it now so let me run this so it is generated the output and uh, we are converting that output into a audio file here click here the name of my channel is mac no so it said my channel name in a weird way but uh, yeah you can so as you say this is this just took uh, 5 seconds to generate and yeah you can even enter a long prompt like uh, let me go to chat gpt and get a, a small paragraph give me a small story single paragraph okay let's copy this and paste here let's run this okay now it is completed and uh, for this long prompt it took uh, 54 seconds let's convert it into an audio file aaron a curious young engineer spent months building a tiny ai powered rover in his garage hoping to test it in the nearby forest one evening as he released it among the trees the rover's sensors picked up a faint distress signal following the trail aaron discovered a lost puppy trapped in a ditch 
with the rover's lights and beeping sounds guiding the way, Aaron carefully. So yeah, this is how you can generate this uh, output. So we can we can actually just save this audio file uh, using. Okay, you just uh, enter this from scipy io dot wave file import write and uh, create a new folder here like uh, in your uh, workspace and uh, create a folder named op that is for output you can name it anything but uh, just click here and uh, copy its path and paste it here so it is content slash output output let me change the name of the output to output underscore one now if i run aaron a curious young engineer actually saved here you can see output underscore one is saved here you can just click and download it so an mp3 file is created and it is downloaded you open this file aaron a curious young engineer spent months building a tiny ai powered so rover in it that's it like uh, you don't have to pay for text to speech engine ever again you can just use this uh, free tool and uh, free platform to create uh, audio files that's that's it for this video let me know if you have any other doubts or queries i'll be happy to answer and that's all see you soon